Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model this project as you can see from here. At the end of this lesson, you will learn how you can model this project starting with the walls, the windows, the railing, as you can see right there, and the columns and everything from here. So without wasting much of your time, let's go ahead and start the project. So I'll just go to file right there, then go to new, then click on project. And then I'm just going to pick metric architectural template and click on OK. From here, I'll just double click south there. And I just want to change there to 5 meters. You can type 5M on your keyboard or just type 5000 as you can see it adjusts. Then I'll just change the top level there to roof. Okay. And click outside and click on yes. If I click on yes, the level named as roof is going to appear right here. I'll click on yes. You can see the roof right there. So I'll go to level one. Double click. You can see level one appears there on top. Then I'll go to architecture and start creating my grids. Click on the grid. I'll pick the first point. I'll just, you know, place about three grids at random. Then this one is fixed. I'll leave it there. Select the one I want to move and type 3M on my keyboard. Enter. Select on that one. Pick there and type 10M for 10 meters and enter. So this is 10 meters. Click outside. Select that one. Right click. Create similar. Then Horizontal ones, pick the first point. The second point, click on modify. Then from here, I just want to make sure that this is A. Click, click outside. Then I can select on that one once again, right click, create similar. And I want to have about six, seven meters. I can just drag from here until I see seven meters. Right there, click the first point. The second point, click on modify. Now let me just click there and hold my left mouse, drag there, click, uh, click there, hold my left mouse, just like that. You can do the same on this side. Then select one of the grids, click on edit, and make sure that I have the bubbles on both ends, click on apply, okay. Okay, so let me now start with the floor. Go to architecture right there, click on floor, architectural floor. Okay, under the properties here, you can pick the floor type. For me, I'm just going to use 150 millimeters. Click on edit. Okay, make sure that you duplicate to has been added as a way of renaming. Okay, so the 150 millimeters can be checked under the structure. If I click there, you see that that's the thickness. If you want, you can change the thickness. Okay, I'll maintain the thickness. Click OK. Then from here, I just want to have the floor. Okay, covering from one, three, and one, just like a box, okay, a rectangle. But I want to offset it at 1.2 meters outward or round. So what I'm going to do, I'll pick rectangle and I'll use the offset of, or let me just use 1,000 for one meter. Okay, then from here, I'll pick uh, rectangle there, the rectangle from there, and that is level one. Then I'll just pick this point and this point you see that an offset is automatically applied an offset of one meter then just click on the green check mark as you can see from there then let me just open let me just close that south and open the 3d view from there okay then i'll just change the visual style to shade it then i don't want to see the levels type vg from your keyboard go to annotation and find your levels and check it, click on apply, then OK. So you can see that my floor is right there at that offset. OK, so let me go back to level one, then model my walls, go to architecture, then wall, pick architectural wall, then under the properties there, I just want to use the generic 200 millimeter wall, pick on it, then make sure that the best constraint level one, then the top constraint, I want it to go to roof, as you can see from here. Okay. Wall center line is fine for me. 
and I'm not applying any offsets then just use the rectangle there I'm going to pick from there up to somewhere there okay if I go to my 3d view you see that I have the walls like that now let me go back to level one and start you know creating my windows using the curtain wall like like what you are seeing here I'll go back to level one then what you need to do just go to wall this is the two instead of using the window we are not using this one this is how you create you know you know complicated or uh, some windows with a lot of partitions windows which we you can't find in the normal window command so you can still use you know this tool that i'm just showing you so i'll just click on wall then go to architectural wall then down there click on properties okay we have under the curtain wall i'm just going to use curtain wall okay the difference between exterior glazing and storefront is that these two options have some presets in terms of grids and mullions. So I just want to start something without any partition. So I'll use curtain wall, click on it. Then this is just a wall again, as the name is suggesting, but you are able to partition it, you see how it behaves. Then I'll just click on edit type. Under the properties there, it's a curtain wall. Make sure that you just duplicate because I want to maintain that one by default. Okay, two has been added, click OK. Now I just want to activate automatically embed so that when i just place it there it's going to cut you know the existing wall i'll click I'll, I'll, I'll just check it there then as i mentioned this this one does not have any grids any mullions it's just a blank you know uh, a blank no partitions whatsoever so this is what i want to go with i'll just click on ok then from level one i want my windows using the curtain wall to go not up to roof but to i'll use unconnected and i want it to go up to four meters as you can see from there okay then i can start you know now creating my windows i'll just start from somewhere there click the first point and my width should be 2.3 i'll just click there okay then i'll go to my 3d view you see that just just a blank you know window like that but the glazing is there if i just over my case there click on tab tab move somewhere there tab you can see that i click there that is the glazing okay that is the panel now i want to partition it so what you are going to use are the grids just go to architecture then click on curtain grid click there okay so i want to part, part to, to make a partition you know horizontally so if i if i just over my case on the vertical side i'm able to place my horizontal grid like that now i want it to be 1.2 from the top so i can move it like that until i see 1.2 like that then click then click on modify you can still modify this one change the dimensions by selecting on it and you can you know type in the dimension from there just click outside okay now from what you are seeing here we also need like, to partition it in the middle i'll go back there okay then go to architecture then we have the grid, get and grid, pick on it. Then this time I'll go to the vertical. Hover my case on the vertical and you're able to place that one like that. Now you see that it goes all the way up to the top. I don't want that. It's because I've picked all segments. Make sure that you pick one segment. I'll click on that. Then if I just hover my case there, you see that now I'm just able to partition there. And the snapping in the middle there, I can just click there and you see the partition then click on modify so we've partitioned it the way we want so now it's a matter of placing your mullions there just go to architecture then this time go to mullion click on it under the properties by default from this template we have a number of mullions here for me i'm just going to pick 50 by 150 millimeters click on it then it's just a matter of now you know picking those grids on the edges the grids are already there so just pick there pick there as you can see i'm able to place my mullions like that and place that one now for this one you can use that one or you can just pick since it's just one one segment but since the grid is not going all the way through i can still use that one and place my mullion like that i'll click on modify then I don't want this one to terminate here. I want it to be continuous and this one to join there. So I can select on that and 
make it continuous click outside you see that it's continuous visually okay so i'm done with my window just go to level one and just copy the window right there i'll just select it like that or you can even once you just over okay so they are able to select everything like that right then i'll just go to co or copy on your uh, see on your keyboard or just click there then i'll just constrain it then i just want to copy from there you know i'll place this one up to somewhere here then the other one up to somewhere there click on modify okay i'm happy with the placement then what i can do i can still select all these like that okay maybe let me just push this one there i'm just using the arrow on my keyboard like that then i can select them like that then just go to copy there constraint is checked there then i can just pick that point up to there and click then click on modify remember the feature that i selected you know embed automatically that's how it's able to cut the walls like that automatically then i'll just go to my 3d view you see that i have my windows like that this looks cool okay now all i need to do is to just go to level one and now you know create the door right there as you can see from here let me just orbit we have the door right there let me just go to level one okay then i can still copy this one and just edit this one i'll just click on it right or maybe let me still use the same tool instead of copying and modifying i can still go to uh, to architecture click there architectural wall go down there sorry once you click there make sure that you go to k10 wall click on edit there make sure that you duplicate this is number three now click on ok and make sure that automatically embed is picked and there are no mullion or grease there i'll need to create them myself the way i did on the windows that is okay for me i'll just click on ok right then for the height that is okay then again unconnected that is okay it's remembering it has remembered the previous settings the height up to four meters that is fine for me what i'm going to do i just want to have it uh, at the width of three meters pick the first point then 3m enter on your keyboard that is three meters then click on modify and go to my 3d view just to check it as you can see i have it right there now i'll partition it okay from here you can see that i just need to cut there okay horizontally then go back to the 3d view from here then go to architecture then pick the grid okay make sure that you select the you, you hover your case on the vertical one and i want it to be 1.2 just click there as you can see i have it right there okay so that is the only partition i can go to architecture mullion and just place my mullions that is the 50 by 150 like that and like that i also place that one since this is a door i don't need to place at the bottom there okay then click on modify now for the door what you need to do is to just embed within there for example if i hover my case there click on tab tab or maybe let me just orbit this side zoom in there then tab and pick you see i'm able to pick that is the glazing now i need to swap you know this system panel is glazed i need to swap it with the actual door okay so once you select on it it's just a matter of going there and if you have the door you know already loaded here it's just a matter of picking it now the door is not loaded so i need to load the door first of all so i'll just click outside then i'll go to insert then load family okay you see that i have created more panels okay these are the doors that i'm supposed to use but i'll just go back and show you that go to the library any any library that you are using for me i'm using uk you can use american you know japanese you know south african any kind of library for me i'm using this one and just go to get any more panels double click there and you can you you'll be able to find your 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 doors so i'm just going to use that one and click on open so it's it's loaded here i'll just orbit like that 
then zoom in there over my cursor there tab tab it's selected highlighted as you can see then pick on it then click there and make sure that you pick that door like that as you can see we have our door right there okay so this is how you are going to create your windows and your door so this is part one make sure that you like this video okay and subscribe to my channel once you like this video you'll be notified also once i upload the the part two so that we can finish our model as you can see from here so see you in the next lesson